Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the Angel Cooperative channel and my name is Liza Mariani and I'm here to do the monthly tarot horoscope for January of 2020. Happy New Year. Um, welcome and I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys um, especially as we start off this new year and this new decade. It's not just a new year but we're starting out a new decade which is so exciting um, and I'm so over the moon excited about this new year i just hope that all beautiful positive changes come to all of us especially to you guys um, and also wonderful new opportunities and changes um, transformations and changes that are going to be coming into play for you guys and hopefully lots and lots of prosperity as well all right so let's see what we have for all sagittarius sun moon rising and venus sign also reminder to check out the other signs in your chart because those readings may also resonate with you all right let's see what we have coming in for sagittarius okay we have the four of wheels the death card reversed, the sun reversed, and the moon reversed. Wow. The sun and the moon are both reversed and the death card. So I do feel there is some major changes coming into play for you guys. We also have the three of wheels. Okay, so let's bring in some other cards for clarification. For Sagittarius and what's coming into play for January of 2020. We're using the old world, oh no, old style Lenormand deck. Okay. We have the mountain, the dog, the lady, and the tower. Beautiful. And we also have the rider as your overall energy for this month. I would also like to pull some more runes to give further clarification for Sagittarius and what's coming into play for January. Okay, and also one last stone for healing energy. For Sagittarius, what healing energy does Sagittarius need to know? Um, from the crystals for the month of January 2020. Oh, and I got Shungite for you guys. I love this stone. I also wear it on my bracelet. Um, it's a beautiful protection stone, really good for grounding and also connected to the root chakra. Also helps to balance out negative energies um, and also protects you from negative energies. So I always, especially when I wear my Shungite bracelet every day, but I do believe not just should you wear it, um, even have it around your home. I do feel like it wards off bad, you know, negative energies from coming into your home. Um, I love the energy of Shungite and it's such a beautiful stone. It comes from Russia. And of course the Angel Cooperative um, store um, has a Shungite room. It's the only Shungite room in the United States. and. I do my readings there twice a month and the energy in there is just so beautiful and so amazing, um, especially when I do my readings with the Shungite. Um, and I just can't express how much I love this stone. I just really connect with it. And I just feel like you guys, maybe since it came into your reading, you should look into getting um, at least even a little stone of Shungite to have in your home, even something to carry with you when you need extra protection. From, you know from negative energies and you know if you're going if you're around somebody who is definitely very negative it'll help you protect you from it because it'll absorb their energy so that way it doesn't affect you all right so we have the three of wheels as the overall energy for this month and along with that we have the rider so I do feel like there is um, you know, you're very excited about this new year and like going after, you know, these new changes that are coming into play and actually um, setting the ball in motion and going after it. The rider is all about, you know, setting off on this journey to make things happen. Um, it could even be that you might even be traveling this month. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you Sagittarians, like you're actually 
excited about the energy of this new year as well and um, about the new um, possible you know connections that you're going to be making but also um, creating new projects and new connections that are going to be very um, beneficial for you so I love that because this definitely the overall energy having that here I do feel like that is coming into play but I do feel like there is some baggage that you still need to unload that is still connected to you this month um, and the reason why I say that we do have here the four of wheels which is also the four of pentacles in I mean it's called the wheels in this deck but I you know it's definitely the pentacles and all the other decks um, the four of wheels with the mountain and the mountain is all about challenges, um, you know, having to overcome them. Um, and I do feel like it could be having to do with monetary issues, maybe, you know, trying to find ways to save more money or, you know, to budget yourself and, you know, not spend as much as you normally would. I do feel like this year starting out, maybe you're having some you know, ambitions or resolutions to um, be more mindful of, you know, your money and making um, more of a savings, um, focusing on building your income, um, but also saving a lot of it so you can put it aside for things that you want to create and build on. Um, it could even be that maybe you're saving up for a home or you're saving up for something that is substantial, um, maybe something that you're trying to work towards. So I do feel like that is, um, it's positive, but there is challenges that go with it because it's also having to follow through with all the intentions that you have to make these changes for yourself. Um, where you're actually having to overcome some challenges. So, I mean, I don't feel like it's bad, but I do feel like it can feel a little bit, um, it could feel a little bit challenging for you at times where you're having, you know, you're, you're not sure of yourself and, and you're almost like you're second guessing if you're doing things the right way and, and maybe you slip up here and there or, you know, you're, it's really hard to stay focused and to stay, I want to say it's almost like you need to be like super, super serious about it in order to make things really start to change and to start to happen. Um, but also like focusing in on like really sticking to the plan instead of veering off here and there. It's like you have to stick to it um, because you want to create this um, financial abundance for yourself this year. So I do feel like this is um, it's a beginning of the changes that are coming into play, but it also can feel a little overwhelming at first. So don't get overwhelmed. I do feel like you're, you have all the right tools to make these things happen. It's just don't get overwhelmed with it. I do feel like there are things that you have to let end, um, especially with the death card here and it's reversed along, but we do have the dog with it. So that lightens the energy of the death card. And we also have the gateway rune. So I do feel like this is like you're allowing like things in your life to come to an end that you need to put behind you um, and it could be you know something negative that has happened in the past that in the past that has already ended but you need to like release it in a way um, because we do have the dog and I do feel like this is you you know trying to find your happiness but it's like you're always loyal to everyone and you're always there and dependable for everyone but it's like you have to almost like do this for yourself and I feel like this is more about talking about self-love and you know nurturing yourself and allowing you know you know being there for yourself allowing these things to end and acknowledging them and releasing them um it's like you don't want to be holding on to that um the feeling of loss and it's almost like the feeling of being a victim. And, and I don't want you to feel like the victim anymore. I think it's like time to move on from that. You need to release it. You need to forgive, let go and accept it and feel the emotions of the past. But you want to also release them. So that way you can move forward and you can go after the things that you need to go after. But the thing is, like, I do feel that you know, with the gateway rune, it's like, this is the beginning of the transformation for you. This is going from, you know, the direction that you need to be going towards to make this change. And by making the change, it's allowing these things or situations or people or whatever it is that you were holding on to from the past to come to an end and to release them, to release their energy. It's more that 
I, and I feel like it's like a negative energy that still you know, like has its gripping you in a way. And you don't want to allow that because it's like you're almost feeding into it when you do. So don't like, I, I don't like, you know, allow it to control you. I feel like you need to acknowledge it and also release it and just let, you know, let it be what it is. And just so that way you can move on towards these newer and better um things that are coming into your life and the people that are even your new connections that you're making. So it's like you need to release whatever that past energy is that is like still holding that negative energy within you. And that's why I do feel like Shanghai is going to be very good to help you with that this month. Um, and it's also about, you know, absorbing that negative energy. So that way it's not affecting you anymore. Um, we also have here the sun reversed. And that's also connected with the lady. So, you know, I do feel like you're, you know, even though the sun is reversed, it's like things may not be as clear and it might not be as bright and as jovial and happy. But the thing is, it's still the sun is still very positive, even when it's reversed. Um, I never feel like the sun is ever is ever negative even when it's reversed I feel like it's still very positive but sometimes you just feel a little unsure of yourself but you know you have to also um, you know the Sun's energy is very healing too so I feel like it's allowing yourself to still go through this healing process especially after this death card is behind you it's like you're allowing yourself to heal and nurture yourself and it's also about um, you know, self-love and, and taking care of yourself and doing things that make you feel good because we do have the lady here and I do feel like she needs to be nurtured. And I feel like this is you, like you need to nurture yourself and you need to, um, take the steps to do that. Even if it's just for a day or two here or there, it doesn't have to be every single day. Of course, it could be like once a week or maybe once every other week, do something for yourself that makes you feel good. Go get a massage, go, you know, get a manicure, pedicure, do something that is like a healing, um, type of energy, like something that makes you feel like relaxed and calmed because, um, at the end of the day, like you have to nurture yourself. Nobody else is going to do it for you. You need to do it for you. So I feel like that is also an important message that I guess you guys need to hear this month. And with that, you know, we have the, this, this is also about saying, you know, re revealing messages or signals or symbols or symbolisms. Um, but it's also like tuning into your intuition. Um, and understanding what it is that you need to do for yourself because nobody's going to understand that only you will. And I feel like that is going to be important for you to like, instead of waiting for, you know, the cue for things to happen to like make them happen for yourself. Um, instead of like saying, Oh, I don't have time for that. I'll, you know, maybe next time I'll do that. No schedule the time for yourself because you know what you matter. And um, nobody's going to take care of you like you're going to take care of yourself because you know what it is that you need. Other people are not going to be able to read your mind and say, oh, she needs a spa day. Let me just get her one. I mean, you know, there are very few and far between people who do sense that and will do it for you. But I feel like this time around, like you need to do this for yourself. You need to do things that nurture you and make you feel good. It may not be a spa day. It may not be a massage. It may be something else. It may be even taking a trip, you know, by yourself or going to a retreat or, you know, like a meditation retreat or something where you're actually nurturing your soul and you're, you're nurturing yourself from the inside. It's not about nurturing, you know, everything else. It's really about nurturing who you are um, and taking care of that because you know what? The most important thing in your life is yourself and you want to also be happy and healthy as you move forward. Um, we have also the moon reversed and the moon reversed is also, you know, where things are a little unclear, like you're not able to really see. Um, it's almost like you're, you're feeling a little bit like you're leading with fear sometimes. And of course the tower is here as well. So there are some major changes going on in your life. Um, and of course you're deathly afraid of change and you're deathly afraid of, you know, the scary part of change and like having to, 
you know, succumb to them and like ha trying to figure out how to survive. It's like the survival mode of going through changes. But I do feel like, you know, with this time of nurturing and healing, it's like you can definitely get through this a lot easier when you're dealing with changes that, especially as they're happening, it's like they're meant to happen. You can't control them. The tower is comes into your life because it has to come into your life. These changes have to happen and you have to acknowledge them and like allow them to happen and, you know, learn from them and heal from them. But you can't fight them. You can't go against them. It's just meant to happen. And it's part of the course of your life or it's part of your path and it's part of your life lessons. And I feel like that is also something that you're going to have to accept and acknowledge um, especially this month. It may not be that it's necessarily could be happening this month. It could be something, a change that is coming that you're, it's like almost like you're, you're gripped with fear over this major change that's going to be happening that you know it's coming. And it's like, it's sitting out there and you can see it and you can almost like envision when it's going to happen, but it, it's going to happen whether you want it to happen or not. Um, and there's no way of controlling it. So I do feel like that is, it's like, you know, something that is going to be pretty traumatic for you. Um, I don't feel like it's completely horrendous because of course we can always move on and we can always heal through situations and we can get through them. But I do feel like you're going to be, um, it's like you're almost afraid to go through it. I don't know why, but the moon is reversed here and I feel like it's telling you that. Um, we also have here the separation rune. So this is also um, signifies inherited property, um, possessions, a house, home, um, you know, transferring of material goods. It could be even receiving money, um, inheritance. Um, this could even be connected to a death um, that you know that is coming into play here. Whoops. That but. You know, of course, with the inheritance and, you know, transferring of property and, you know, that type of energy from this rune, I do feel like this is something that you're, you're not wanting this to happen. Um, even though like you're going to have to deal with all the changes that come with it um, because it's going to be, you know, an important part of the things that you're learning, um, not just for yourself, but it's just the course of life and it's something that you can't control. So just be mindful of that and also be very kind and, you know, gentle with yourself as you're going through these changes that have to happen. Um, even though they can feel scary at times, um, it's awful, but you know what? I feel like they're meant to happen because they, they make us into who we are. All right. So let me also pull a card from the wisdom of the Oracle to give us more clarification here. Okay. It's interesting because we have the deep knowing card. So I feel like you have a good sense of deep knowing. It's like almost like you can sense when things are happening or before they even happen. It's like you have that wisdom or that deep inner knowledge that you don't normally share with others, but you can sense them when they're about to happen. And I feel like that's kind of what's coming into play, especially with the moon reversed and the tower card. Um, and it's, you know, it's telling you that you're going to know. You're going to know when these changes are going to come into play. Um, and it could be, you know, the it could be a major loss. But the thing is, it does create you to be a stronger person. And... Um, you know, you know how to get through these things, though, because I do feel like you have experience with them. Um, but it's not easy, even though it's still not easy, um, even when you're faced with these major changes that are happening in your life. All right, let me also bring one more card into play here. And we have the Hermit. And the Hermit is all about... Um, you know, the hermit is, for me, I always feel like the hermit energy is about looking inwardly and looking within yourself for the answers without looking to outward, out, you know, the sources outside of you. Like, you know, getting other people's opinions, really the answers are always within yourself. Um, and I feel like that's also here as well. 
Um, let me just read the light attributes and the shadow attributes of this card because I do feel like it, this could resonate with you, um, each of you in a different way. But it says here to seek solitude, to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. So it's like you're, you're taking time to be alone, to nurture yourself, to heal, but also to focus in on your own personal challenges and the things that are going on within yourself instead of focusing on how other people are reacting to a situation it's like you're trying to keep yourself centered um, the shadow attributes here as well um, they say withdraws from society out of fear of negative judgments from others refusing to help those in need um I do feel like there are some aspects that could be true to this for some of you, especially the fear part. And I do sense that, especially with the moon here reversed. I do feel like there is like you're withdrawing yourself because out of fear, um, fear of what's to come, um, fear of what you're going through. Um, because, you know, changes, especially major changes, major life changes are sometimes scary or fearful. Um, you know, of course, they're scary. So you're fearful of them happening. But the thing is, I do feel like with the hermit energy, it's like finding your own personal peace of mind is going to help you through this, through meditation, through um, spiritual connection, through whichever you know way that you do that. Um, however, it makes you feel good about yourself. It's also about nurturing yourself in ways that you need to be nurtured. Um, because it's important because you do have this deep knowing and I do feel like you are very connected to um, your own spirituality and your own soul but you know as we are going through you know life and going through our own personal journeys you, we have to learn and grow from all of these situations that come in before us even if they are challenges of course we have the mountain here and it's all about challenges but I do feel like these challenges um, mold us into who we are. All right. Well, Sagittarius, I hope that resonated with you. Um, I definitely feel like I connected with at least a few of you. Um, I would love to hear how this resonates with you. So please comment below. Also like and um, share this video with those that you know would benefit from them or even from the other signs. If you if they have a different sign, you can send those as well. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get notified for when our new videos are being posted. All right, well, Sagittarius, have a wonderful month and I will see you again next month. Take care, bye.